Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Tammy Souza. Today, well, it's a very special day because we are just two days away from the big holiday weekend, but we are also getting the first prognostication from NOAA, from the government, as to what it looks like for next hurricane season in the Atlantic. And it's very important because last year we were expecting a giant hurricane season. We had less storms than expected, but we did have, of course, Hurricane Ian and some other massive hurricanes that formed. And that's always a concern for everybody down the Jersey Shore. And of course, even in Philadelphia, where Ida had such horrible, catastrophic conditions uh, just several years ago. So let's start off first and take a look across the area. Everything is quiet as can be, clouds and radar. We don't have anything to worry about. Tropical stuff is nowhere on the horizon for us. If we widen this out into the uh, tropical Atlantic basin in the Caribbean, there isn't anything going on tropically. We just have a few uh, disturbances, a few storms, but we do not have anything out there to worry about. Hurricane season officially begins in the Atlantic on June 1st, which is just days away. It has already begun in the Pacific Basin. Now we're going to talk about several things. The Atlantic hurricane season. This is what NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has forecast for this season ahead. 12 to 17 named storms. That's less than last year. Nonetheless, if you take the average uh, between 12 and 17, it's about where it should be. Five to nine of those hurricanes. That's what they're expecting. The average is seven and one to four of those would be major hurricanes. Now last year we only had two major hurricanes of everything that was forecast. Of course one of them was E and it doesn't get more major than a category five hitting uh, the south of western portion of Florida. So this is what they're thinking this year. Now I know that's a little bit of a broad range and this will be readjusted later this summer but going into it they're looking at something that would be less than last year. Now why is that? Well this is turning out to be a strong El Nino summer and fall. El Nino is forming quickly. The warmest sea, uh, sea surface temperatures that we have seen in the Pacific have been taking place already this year, and the same is going to happen for the Atlantic. But this strong El Nino will replace three years of La Niñas. Now, what does that mean? La Niña is uh, something that favors busier hurricane seasons in the Atlantic. El Nino shuts it down because of the weather patterns and so forth. But we do have a couple of wild cards. Record warm sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic. Now that always helps storm development. So even though we have the inhibiting El Nino that's forming, those record warm sea surface temperatures could actually fire up more storms than expected. And we're watching the West African monsoon season, the wet season. If it is less active, that will inhibit the storm development. If it is very active, uh, we would see more storms. So we have some wild cards to watch, but the overall look for all of this is that this season is possibly going to be close to average. All it takes is one, one strong hurricane to destroy an area. So, of course, you can't say it's an average season. I'm not going to worry. If you want to know what those tropical cyclone names are, here they are for this year. Arlene, Brett, Cindy, Dawn, Emily, Franklin, Gert, Howard, Idalia, Jose, Katia, Lee, Margot, Nigel, Ophelia, Philippe, Rena, Sean, Tammy, Vince, and Whitney. Of course, they'll go to the Greek alphabet if they actually exhaust all of those names. So stay with us here. We're going to keep you updated, but this is the first glance at what this hurricane season may bring for the Atlantic. Again, expecting pretty much a normal season, but we do have a lot of wild cards out there. So stay with us here. The Knicks weather team is going to keep you updated throughout the hurricane season.